Brazilian Dota 2 Team Vivo Kit Stars have become the third team to qualify for the International TI 2023 from the regional qualifiers after they claimed the first of two spots in the tournament from the South American regional qualifier with a 2-0 sweep over Akatsuki in the qualifiers upper bracket finals on Saturday August 26. Keith Stars is one of the many teams that had grinded through the rising South American Regional League during the 2023 Dota Pro Circuit DPC season. The team started the season with a roster featuring Guilherme Costobole Costobole, Adriano Fordia Machado, Otavio Tovo Silva, Danilo King Gertneshimento, and Mateus KJ Dinas. Keith Stars finished South America's Winter Tour Regional League in fourth place before getting dropped to Division 2 after a seventh place finish in the Spring Tour Regional League. After which, four Dia Antovo left in May. Keith Stars replaced their departing players with Joao for Nilot Giannini and Gustavo FCR Ribeiro, then bounced back with a first place finish in Division. 2 of the Summer Tour Regional League ahead of the TI 2023 Regional Qualifiers. Not many expected Kian stars to perform so well in the qualifiers, having been demoted to Division 2 during the season. Even so, the team enjoyed a strong start to the qualifiers, with a 2-0 sweep over Barros before they defeated favorites Thunder Awaken. 2 to 1 to reach the upper bracket finals. Standing in Keith Star's way towards one of the two spots in TI 2023 were Akatsuki, a team that also defeated more established squads in Infamous and Infinity to get to this point. Keith Stars came out swinging to start the series, taking a comfortable 44 minute win in game, one behind strong performances from Costobole and Forney Log. Costobole led the way as Sven with 11 kills and 12 assists on 2 deaths, while 4 Nilog on Lina pitched in with 8 kills and 10 assists against 3 deaths to pace Keith Star's 29-19 kill lead in Game 1. Game 2 was practically a victory lap to TI 2023 for Keith Stars, as they made short work of Akatsuki in 30 minutes to complete the 2-0 series sweep. Costobole on Gyrocopter and 4 Nilog on Invoker, shine once again. Racking up 9 kills apiece and a combined 25 assists on 3 deaths between the two of them. FCR also had a stellar performance on Timbersaw, pitching in with 6 kills and 7 assists on 1 death. With their victory over Akatsuki, Keith Stars are now the third team to qualify for TI 2023 through the regional qualifiers and the first of two from South America. South America and Western Europe were both given one additional spot in TI 2023 through the regional qualifiers by Dota 2 developer Valve Software back in June as part of a revamp format for this year's World Championship Tournament. Akatsuki still has a chance to grab that second spot for South America in their qualifiers lower bracket finals, where they will face the winner of the lower bracket semi-finals between Mad Kings and Thunder Awaken. South America will have four teams in TI 2023, including directly invited squads Evil Geniuses and Beast Coast alongside the two winners of their regional qualifier. China's Asia Rian North America's Nouns Esports were notably the first two teams to earn a spot in this year's World Championship Tournament for Dota 2 through the regional qualifiers. TI 2023's regional qualifiers will run until August 31st, with the competition being split into three five-day phases where two regions will compete in each phase. With the qualifiers for North America and China now concluded. The qualifiers for South America and Eastern Europe are ongoing from 22 to August 26. Western Europe and Southeast Asia will then close things out from 27 to August 31. TI 2023 will be hosted across multiple weekends from 12 to October 29 in Seattle, the United States. 
This year's tournament also features a revamp format split into two distinct phases, called the Road to the International and the Internationals itself.